Welcome to Tech Shorts, a collection of hints, tips, and tricks to make you a more effective ServiceNow developer. I'm Chuck Tomasi. In this episode, I'm going to import my Excel spreadsheet to the Safety app. At this point, I've used Studio, our IDE, to create the application, build some tables, and added a couple of fields to hold our safety data, and did some basic form and list layout. My mission now is to get the Safety Department's Excel spreadsheet into ServiceNow using a feature called Easy Import, so they can start using all the cool features. Let's begin. The Safety Department has been receiving email requests for a while and storing the details in this Excel spreadsheet. The problem is that requesters feel like their information goes into a black hole and the process is too slow. Company leadership says they don't have any timely visibility, and the safety team complains that they're having a hard time keeping the information up to date. Fortunately, I can help. In ServiceNow, I begin at the list of records where I want to import the spreadsheet. I choose Import from this menu. Since I already have the spreadsheet and the field names are the same in Excel and ServiceNow, I don't need to create a template. I then locate my spreadsheet and upload it. The system imports the information and takes a quick look at it. And I notice I have one record that doesn't quite conform. The system noticed an anomaly between the categories in the spreadsheet, small, medium, and big, versus what choices I have in ServiceNow of just small and big. I'll click this button to tell it to import the record and try and map the category. If it can't, it'll just create a blank category and I can update the record as part of my post-import cleanup. And just like that, here are the records from the spreadsheet in my issue table. I can do many familiar things in ServiceNow like sorting from a column menu. However, ServiceNow lets me take it a step further with things like grouping to get some quick insights to the list over here. Additionally, I can also quickly filter the data using Show Matching and Filter Out by right-clicking on a field value. This in turn modifies the breadcrumbs shown here, which can be further modified, saved, and used again quickly using the List Filter tool. What's more, I can use visual task boards to show a Kanban-style layout to assign these tasks to Luke. So you see, in just a few minutes, I've taken my process from a simple spreadsheet to a system of record that provides me some basic insights without any coding. And I'm not done yet. You can learn more about easy import and visual task boards from our product documentation page. I also invite you to visit developer.servicenow.com to get a free developer instance to try the concepts demonstrated in this video and learn more about building business applications fast on ServiceNow. Be sure to watch the other videos in this series to be a more effective ServiceNow developer. Thanks for watching.